Hello again and welcome to a Reader's Digest thing. Yes, there's lots of Reader's Digest things and this is one about cars. Uh, this is from the June 1968 Reader's Digest and again there's a lot of car ads and I thought oh, I'll split them off into a separate video for, for those that sort of like the cars, probably don't like my commentary about them but you know, that's what the mute button's for. Now the problem was with, do, with scanning the Reader's Digest um, magazines, um, you often lose the centre of the photo. Unfortunately, this, that's, that's really unfortunate because it kind of diminishes some of the historical um, relevance or curiosity or whatever of these, of these ads, these photos. So, certainly the photos, you get to see the, the, you know, the, these cars and, in colour and and how they looked in the day. Um, so there's that certainly that um, I, I acknowledged it in the Rambler Rebel one, but um, I still want to acknowledge it that yeah, some some of the Reader's Digests you really couldn't open the ads out very well at all. Anyway, as I always say, without further ado, here is the, the car ads from June 1968. Holden's V8 Power makes any driver feel young. Wow. That's because it's red. Of course, we all know red goes faster, don't we? Good grief. He looks like he's one out of those bad American westerns. Well, Bonanza was still going. All those westerns were still going. So it's, oh, yeah, let's just cater to those. Let's get the V8s happening. And <laughs> roll and roll. New race-proofed oil for your car. Let's have a look at what race-proofed oil looks like. Gives extra this for that, under all of those. Oh, and a champagne bottle. Mm. Is that where the oil is stored? It's kind of like, oh, we'll store it in a champagne bottle to make it look very grand prix. Oh my god. That looks like a zucchini. Yeah, they model their bottle on a zucchini. Mm. Yeah, zucchini green. And that's the story about which I can't read. Will you wait seven years for a 1975 car? Or get your Audi now? The, I, I think this is a way of saying Audi is ahead of its time. Mm. Apparently you'd be surprised how many 1975 models will boast about the features. I'd love to be able to sort of... That'd be interesting. 1975 Audi. How would people react? Kind of, if they've still got one of these, and it's like, well, it's 1975, I don't need to buy one of those because it's got all the features from 1968, so why would I need to buy one? So Audi car yards are going, oh my god, that didn't work. <laughs> Ooh, the money saver. Caltrex Astron. Ooh, your engine, well, it will move more miles per dollar prior to kilometers and all of that kind of metric stuff we had miles oh and isn't that sweet we've got inspector clouseau on the far right there checking out his champagne and the surfer boy there and oh the one on the left looks like i'm holding this red thing to my ear but i don't know what it is but i look good in the photo don't i grin mm, sort of grinning and the other one there kind of looks like why have I been saddled with this dog? And the guy in the purple is like, Hey, I look fantastic, even though this doesn't suit me. Oh, there's a mirror. Wow. I love my mirror. And my sideburns even. Oh, another champion ad. Well, you know, straight champions. They're always straight. Oh, number two and number one. So one gives you the things and the other gives you the other. Triple World Champion Jack Brabham drove his champion Spa Repco blah 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 and the other one. Yep, why settle for less than your car? I don't know. <laughs> oh. There's a place for love and laughter and carefree living and a perfect car to take you there. The Datsun 1600. It looks like they're running away. It's like, oh, God, we've got it stuck here. Now we've got to step over the pebbles so we don't slip. <laughs> What's the bit after the photo was taken? They face-planted themselves something fierce. They love taking these photos down by 
unattainable rocky things. I love how the rocks are built up on the tyres to show that the tyres aren't flat. Maybe the idea was they wanted to reverse it in the sea because it was such crap. And then all the tyres got flat and then they're running away thinking, oh no, we don't want to be associated with this thing. Look what's happening to new Rambler Rebel. Ooh. Well, at least this is better than some of the other Rambler ads I've seen. Rebel V8. Oh, I guess that's a Rebel with a cause. And eight of them, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rambler Rebel. Oh, it goes well, The name actually goes quite well. Now, in the copy of this, I'm sorry, I probably... I, I haven't got the, the far end text because it's too into the spine. So my apologies for that. Actually, yeah, with the way the it looks like Bebel. <laughs> yeah, the Bebel V8. <laughs> or Bebel. Ooh! Iconoclast. Shit, I pronounced it right. <laughs> Valiant. In actual fact, it's one of those ones where they have a photo and it looks like there is actually a front windscreen. We have the Valiant Iconoclast. Actually, that doesn't sound right. Maybe you've noticed. Cars have taken on a hypnotic monotony. So yes, if you get anything other than Valiant, you have got yourself some hypnotic monotony. Hmm. That'd be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it? Hi! Do you want to drive in my hypnotic monotony? Oh, what brand's that come from? What car manufacturer makes that one? I don't know, a local chop shop. Oh, can I have sauce with that? <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed those. Again, my apologies for, for the, the way those things scanned. It's, it's actually, it's frustrating to look at, I understand that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at these, putting, putting them up here like this, and so, you know, if it was like a, a flat way of scanning it, that'd be great. It, it's it's frustrating for me as well as it would be for you to to see those being a bit mutilated. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, do all those ticky things and blah blah blah. Not not the kind of ticks that need um, treatment though. You know, a little comb, <laughs> a little eyebrow comb. Um, so <laughs> Uh, but anyway, as long as you enjoyed that, that's the main thing. And I'll s hopefully I'll see you in the next one. All right, you take care now. All righty, ciao.